how do you recognize the essential set of skills or the essential prerequisites for a successful legal career? So we listen to our clients firstly. So, you know, we, we are speaking to law firms um, day in, day out about what they're trying to achieve, what their strategy is, how they're trying to get their strategies implemented. So we do a lot of consulting to law firms around talent solutions, how they can improve their retention, how they can actually increase their diversity inclusion um, initiatives and, and everything else around that. So we, we really are kind of seen as trusted advisors as well as recruiters. And then once we've understood what our clients want in terms of skill sets, we can obviously communicate that to the next generation of candidates in terms of what they're looking for. So but the first point is we listen to our clients. Uh, that's the first thing and then we go out and communicate to our candidates right well these are the top skill sets that you are going to need um, to be a successful lawyer so I think it, it's it, you know if I was to kind of look at some of the things for the next generation of lawyers you have to be able to prepare um, and embrace legal tech you know you have to have a more entrepreneurial thinking mindset you have to have a willingness to build a personal brand you have right. to have a, a, a willingness to stay intellectually curious you have to have a willingness to have mentors that can improve your technical legal skill set <clears throat> you have to embrace all of the new things that are happening to you and going on around the world as right. well as obviously doing the fundamental stuff that was you know gone years by good attention to detail hard working you know all of the things you'd expect a good lawyer to have in terms of commercial awareness as well all of those are fundamental and important but the next generation of lawyers need to bring ideas and be more entrepreneurially thinking as well right that's a that's a very unique thought i would like to clarify uh, i would request you to please clarify on one point which is very interesting you mentioned that you approach your clients uh, which are usually law firms who then convey certain requirements that they see as essential skills in their potential uh, candidates uh, could you like highlight in general like what are what is the trend right now what are these essential skills that are now being looked uh, forward to by the law firms or is there any change that you're observing that is happening in this field well, obviously, at the moment, we're in lockdown. So, you know, COVID, the, the, in terms of law firms, you know, I would say actually the bulk of what we're, we're doing is actually consulting them around how they can retain their existing um, legal professionals, trainees, you know, and keep, keep kind of, you know, job satisfaction and all those things nice and high. But I think in terms of general skill sets that they, they, they look for, I think there's a, a few things that a good lawyer needs to be, you know, they're looking for good drafting capability. You know, that is something where, you know, at any good level, you need to have good written communication skills. So I think, you know, good communications, good drafting capabilities. Um, as mentioned, intellectually curious. I think also you need to have, um, you know, looking for sort of people who have gone above and beyond. So how can you add value to the law firm? You know, they're looking for people who, you know, if they're going to be future partners or future leaders within the law firm, how could they potentially business develop how could they bring additional value are they doing their own podcast like you are they being proactive are they part of the society right. are they part of these bits and pieces so they're looking for natural networking skills mm -hmm. in addition to you know lots of technical skill sets so of course you should always be really trying to finesse in your understanding of the law and reading of the law and understanding of all the kind of intricacies that go in with that Yes, but that should be a given because that's what every lawyer has been doing for generations gone past. It's like, what are you doing to go above and beyond to add value to the law firm? Be that from, like I said, networking, a value add, an entrepreneurial thinking mindset. Um, so there's some of the things that law firms are, are really, really looking for generally. Right. And they're looking for ideas and suggestions. Oh. You know, they're, they're saying, OK, if you've got some suggestions or some ideas, bring them to the law firm. We'll, we'll encourage them. We'll look at them. We'll review them. Um, and some of them will probably take them on. Right.